And we back with another episode of Sack School here on The Volume. I'm your host, Vach Lombardi, and today we're looking at Nick Bosa from the San Francisco 49ers. He's such a fun player to watch, so technical, so good with his hands. And on this uh, film session today, we're going to be breaking down some of the technicalities of uh, some of his pass rush moves and his hands and things of that nature. Um, but if you happen to have the attention span of a person with a wooden leg and a real foot, I'm going to roll the clips that I'm going to use in today's film session right now. So you can feel free to mute, rewind, fast forward, whatever you got to do. But but if you appreciate the technical side and the nuance of a film breakdown, then I'm going to be breaking these plays down at length. So with that being said, let's get started. Nick Bosa is so fun to break down, man. Such a such a smart player, such a technical player, such a uh, just a nuanced and savvy player. You know, take a look at this play here. I'm going to run in there. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about it just a little bit. Small little moves to free him up, man. Just like that, right? Now, he, of course, he's a naturally athletic player. I think he's more athletic than uh, Joey. That's my personal opinion. And he's so strong, man. But it's these small technical moves, right? Now, if you've been watching every single one of these videos, I've been saying the same thing, man. Attack the hand in the direction that you're going. If you go outside, attack that hand. Nick is going to go inside right now. And just look at the work that he's doing with this inside hand of the, that ain't even the right tackle. That's just an offensive lineman out there playing tight end. Lordy, <laughs> you know they weren't going to throw him the ball. Anyway, Nick's going to come off the line of scrimmage. And you're going to see Nick just attack that left hand, which is the inside hand. He's going to swipe at it. But not, not only does he swipe to defeat it a little bit, but he's going to rip under it after. So we're going to get a boom and then a rip under. So small, so quick at the line of scrimmage, right? Just a just a, just an easy move to set him up for the for the for the bigger move on the back end right here right bring it back just a little bit inside boom right just defeated you a little bit and we're gonna then we're gonna turn our shoulders we're gonna get skinny we're gonna turn our chest plate away from you because we don't want you to be able to recover and get hands on us we're gonna rip turn our shoulders just like that so now all you got is my back 64 is on nick bosa's back right now do you think that 64 is able to block block nick bosa just being on his back right now Correct, correct. No, hell no. Vachi is not going to be able to block Nick Bosa with his hands on his back like this. And basically, you either got to hold me or we going to go uh, and, and sack Justin Fields together. So um, 64 elected to go sack Justin Fields together. And we got a holding call on the back end of it. Let's see. And one, he held him there. He held him there. He, see, he held him three times. Nick Bosa got him shook. Fantastic play right here. Let's look at another one. I love hand placement. I love wrist control, right? Because you need to attack whichever hand. And, and look, I sound like a broken record saying this, but this is the key to pass rush, right? This is one of the keys to pass rush. You know, ball get off, um, attack the hand in the direction that, that you're going, get your hips to the quarterback and go. That's just just that's that's just one of the one of the principles to, to pass rush. Maybe I'll do 10 pass rush commandments or whatever, but um Nick's gonna come off the football. Let's take a look at the sack right here. Mm -mm. We're gonna see the left. The, uh, we're gonna see Nick's right hand up in the shoulder to give us a little bit of distance to kind of keep you off of us a little bit. We don't want you that close to us. We don't want to be chest to chest with you. Offensive linemen don't mind that because if you're this close to me, then I know that you really can't get away from me. I got a good grip on you if you're that close to me. So D linemen typically want to keep guys away from us. So Nick is measuring with this right hand, okay? But he's he has control of this left arm right here. You can actually see it right there that Nick is grabbing that left arm. Um, now, normally when I'm when I'm seeing guys grabbing or taking control of a hand, they're grabbing the wrist. I've seen Nick get guys in the elbow sometimes, but if you grew up in the Bosa household, everybody can pass rush. The mama, the daddy, the dog, everybody in that house know how to pass rush. Nick and Joey, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's probably been doing this for a long time, so he can control that elbow, which is fire also and if i'm controlling you know your hand your elbow your arm your any one of your appendages on that side then you basically can't do anything with me um so then you take that nick bosa strength on the back end of that before you know it joe burrow dead is fried chicken fam okay so look take a look at this play right the same technique but we get it from the back angle so we can really see the control on that wrist um or the hand or whatever uh we're just gonna run it and then we're gonna come back man Fantastic, man. Fantastic ingredients in this dish. Um, and, and, and look, it's so natural for him, man. It's so natural for him. Like when the when the bosses are kids, man, look, you learn how to, you know, say mommy. You learn your first steps and you learn how to 
grab wrist. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just so easy and natural for him, man. He's going to come off the line of scrimmage very consistent with his last rush. He's going to measure and control uh, with the outside hand. I mean, pardon me, with the inside hand, he's, he's measuring and controlling. But with the outside hand, look at him grabbing that wrist. You can even see the left tackle get his left hand on Nick's shoulder, right? I'm gonna see if I can pause it on time. Boom, boom, boom. The left tackle actually gets hands on Nick, but Nick, not only does he have the hand, um, he has the hand control, the outside hand control, but the elbow is important right here, right? It's important to keep the elbow bent. Why? Because if I grab you out here, I can't extend anymore. I'm fully extended right here. So I'm not powerful like this. You're powerful like this, because if I grab your wrist, then I can extend you. Then I can get you away from me. So Nick has the elbow bent, the hands in the right place. Nick can extend to get your hands off of him. Now you tell me, the left tackle and Nick Bosa in this position, position right here do you think the left tackle can block nick bosa like this while he got his insides controlled and his left side contained and grabbed do you think that the left tackle can do anything with nick bosa right here correct you're right you're absolutely right the answer is damn no dalvin cook not gonna do nothing he's about to leave he's not gonna save him don't look at quincy jones quincy jones not gonna help you then we're gonna sack on kirk cousins Take a look at this play. Let's um let's run it and then we'll bring it back and we'll talk about it. Nick Bosa on the left side of your screen versus the right tackle here. Trevor Lawrence is in some deep, deep doo-doo, man. And look, take it and look. So we we know that Nick is taking the inside, but he doesn't just come off the line of scrimmage and go inside. He can do that, but this time he doesn't. Um, this is what he does most of the time. He sets you up. So, you know, Nick can work upfield. So, I mean, by any indication, you're the you're the you're the right tackle. You're looking at Nick Bosa. Let's see. Ball get off. Boom, it looks like he's rushing outside. Another step, it still looks like he's rushing outside. So in your mind, all right, cool, Nick Bozo rushing outside. But before you know, he's playing that foot and his, he's getting his ass back inside and your hips, meaning the right tackle, right? Look at the right tackle's hips. They're more pointed outside because we're accounting and anticipating the idea that Nick Bosa is gonna rush yeah, outside. But before you know it, Nick is going to cross that damn face. And uh, Trevor Lawrence, <laughs> I love saying this, man. The right tackle, you either going to hold me or we going to go together. He did both. <laughs> he did both, man. So uh, not only does Nick Bosa get the sack, but we get the and one on top of it. They gotta give the defense points for getting sacks while being held. Like that, like they there needs to be a real pass rush and one rule in real life. That'll be fire. I'll probably hate it. Whatever. Um, but yo, this play's so crazy. Let's watch this in silencio, bro. This this play is so so ridiculous. We gotta turn the music down just to just to just to enjoy it. Take a look at Nick Bosa right here. Let's just look at him. Let's just look at him. Look, look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Let's just look at him. Boy, anytime it's versus the Eagles, I just smile, boy. Just anytime it's versus the Eagles, I just, I can't help myself. I lose sleep at night, man. This this gives Cowboy fans wet dreams right here. Just seeing the Eagles do anything just, just terribly like this, just, uh, buddy. So Nick Bosa is using a speed to power type rush right now, right? That's what he's doing. Nick Bosa is getting upfield, and you know, like I said, it's speed to power. So you must sell the idea that I'm rushing you with speed now. I'm going upfield, going upfield, and you, as an offensive lineman, you're gonna account for that. You're gonna prepare for the idea that I'm rushing upfield. Maybe you want to kick a little lighter. You want to kick a little quicker. That's cool. But before you know it, you smelling Nick Bosa cologne because he way closer than you thought he was gonna be, and he takes that step to go from an outside rush to in your chest, and you just going backwards, and boy, you. You falling and you can't get up. The funniest part about this, which really makes me giggle in my sleep, is the left tackle is attached to Nick Bosa right now. And look at Nick Bosa. The hat level's low, the knees bent, the hands inside. He has the power advantage. There's nothing you can do with a with a with a good speed to power rush. Not only does, you know, is Nick Bosa in fantastic position to just whoop the left tackle here, but the left tackle just doesn't want to let go. So if he doesn't want to let you go, then Nick Bosa is just going to grab Jalen Hurts with you, right? And that's what happens on the back end of this. Push you back, push you back. Hey, while you're still attached to me, while you still grabbing my shoulder pads, I'm just going to grab Jalen Hurts and get the sack. All just one big happy family. We all just going to sack Jalen Hurts together. Let's go down the Yellow Brick Road and get Jalen Hurts up out here together as a family listen man nick bosa or the bosa kids are always fun to watch i would encourage everybody to watch past rushers that are technically nuanced more technically 
nuance more often, you know. Um, when I was uh, first starting this, like back in 2016, I really didn't like power rushers or technical rushes. I was a big fan of the the speedy, twitchy, bursty guys. But the more you watch ball, man, the more you just become a fan of these dudes that are just technically refined. You ain't got to be the best athlete in the world, but if you know what to do with these hands, if you know what to do with these rush moves, man, you just you just know what to do with it. Eagles fans, don't be mad at me, man. I actually got a Hassan Reddick film session on the way, man. So just hang tight, bro. Don't don't hate me too 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 much. All right, love y'all to pieces. Um. In the comments though, let me know uh, what fan of what team you are, right? Let me let me know uh, because um, you know I do content on the volume Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Central, except on holidays, um, and that's gonna change up when the regular season comes. We're gonna move things around a little bit to account for the regular season schedule. But as of now, I do content Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Central. But but let me know what what team you're you're um you're representing what team are you a fan of because what i can do is when the regular season gets here i can fit some all 32 content into my schedule or whatever right they hire me to do cowboy content but i would love to do content for anybody it could be breaking down film sessions like this i'm more than just d line guy i can i can break down film you know on anybody but We'll cross that road whenever we get there. Excuse me. Um, with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit the like and follow on all of the volumes pages and follow me on social media. Vash Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. With that being said, y'all hold it down for the Dosky, Wolski, and the Peace of Till next time, volume.